The widow of late mayor Rob Ford will not serve time in jail. CTV Sean Lee Thong is live at the Finch Avenue Courthouse where Renata Ford appeared for sentencing on an impaired driving charge. Sean. Well, Michelle, it was her third impaired driving charge of the past 20 years, and Renata Fard said afterwards that she was looking to turn the page, turn things around, and her lawyer argues that is what she's done. Leaving court, Renata Ford talks about her life over the past two years. Well, it's just been an emotionally stressful, financially stressful time ever since Rob died, so it just seems to never end. <laughs> The widow of the late Rob Ford was handed a lenient sentence today for impaired driving. It was the third time she'd had such a conviction in the past 20 years. The Crown had been asking for a 45-day jail term due to Ford's previous convictions. She was sentenced to three years probation, a two-year driving prohibition, 100 hours of community service, and an $1,100 fine. I'm really happy and appreciative of the judge and the leniency. The first two arrests were in 1997 and 2005. This arrest dates back to December of 2016. After a family Christmas party, Renata Ford was arrested in the parking lot of an LCBO after a small collision. Upon the arrest, she gave two breath samples. Both were more than double the legal limit. It hasn't been easy, but, you know, you have to try, right? And you have to carry on. And that's what I'm trying to do. But like I said, it's been emotionally and, and uh, financially hard. In court, her lawyer, Dennis Morris, described Renata Ford as being a single parent to two children with her late husband's City Hall pension as her sole source of income. <laughs> Just three days before the provincial election, Renata Ford filed a civil lawsuit against her brother-in-law and premier-designate Doug Ford for $16.5 million, alleging that she had not been properly compensated for her late husband's share in the family business. That's been very stressful, and uh, yes, I'd like it to end. And... Um... Yeah, I, really, I can't comment on it because it is in court. The family house is up for sale, and Ford says she's eager to become something else. I want to change, I want to move, I want to change my house, change my environment around, maybe uh, start a new life again. She says that she's looking to leave Etobicoke with her family. And a lawyer says that she's been into treatment and counseling and that she's been without alcohol for over a year and a half. So she's hoping to just move on from what's happened in the past two years. Reporting live from outside court, I'm Sean Lethon. We'll send it back inside. Started back in, in 2016. Yeah. How are you feeling here today? Well, it's just been an emotionally stressful, financially stressful time ever since Rob died. So it just seems to never end. Anyways, thank you. But some good near news good here news today. today. It's, it's yeah. Probation, at the, they, they wanted you to serve jail time. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm really happy and appreciative of the judge and the leniency. But uh, yeah, it hasn't Your been easy. Said that you might be, you want to start a new life. Can you tell us a little bit yes, about that? Yes, I would love to start, you know, fresh and, you know, with the help of the counselor. And, you know, I want to move on. It's time to move on with my children, start a new life. You've been working very hard at it. Yes, I have. It's been what very do you think hard. of Doug as premier? Yeah. Anyways, well, I want to change. I want to move. I want to change my house, change my environment around, maybe uh, start a new life again. Yeah. For me and my kids, I think we all deserve it. The Crown was really concerned that you would reoffend, saying that this is your, you know, third conviction. How can we be confident that that won't happen? Well, you know, even the with my counselor here so I've been doing really wonderfully you know it's, it hasn't been easy but you know you have to try right and you have to carry on and that's what I'm trying to do but like I said it's been emotionally and, and uh, financially hard and it, it doesn't seem to be getting better in some respects. So speaking of that financial hardship yeah. I know that all of this recently came to light with your lawsuit against Doug where's that at and how do you hope to see that develop? Yeah, that's been very stressful, and uh, yes, I'd like it to end. And um, yeah, I have really, I can't comment on it because it is in court. And, and I know Doug's team has kind of said they believe someone has put you up to that. I don't have a comment on that. So what are you going to do now as you head home today? I'm going to go see my kids. You know, and enjoy the lovely sunshine. And you guys should too. Okay. <laughs>